Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're going to be looking at the add days function on Power Automate. So what is the add days function? Well it allows you to take a date that you already have, such as our today's date, and it starts as 2021-03-19. So it's the 19th of March 2021. Now what we want to do is we want to add seven days onto this for whatever reason, maybe we want to go back to someone in seven days, maybe you need to change the date for something to be scheduled for, or anything like that, you may need to increase your dates. So how do we increase the days then? Well, the add days function allows you to pass in the date, then separated by a comma, you can then pass in how many days you want to add but additionally, you can also format the date at this point as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a UTC date, add seven days, and then format it into the American style, which starts with month, then day, then year. And what we'll get as a return is the 03-26-2021. So we'll get the 26th of March, 2021. We've got the seven days added and we've changed the formatting of the date. So let's see this on Power Automate then. Right, so we are on the Power Automate website and we've got a manual trigger for our flow. We are getting the UTC date and time with the UTC now function. I have a separate video on that, so if you want to check that out, please feel free to do so. It will explain how that works. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the add days function in another compose and we're going to pass in the output from our previous compose, which was the UTC now. Then we're going to add seven days to it, but we're going to take the UTC formatting and change that into the American style formatting as well. So let's kick off this flow. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We got today's date as well as the time. Now, obviously we don't want the time. We just want the date with seven days additional as well as we want it in the American format. So going through the add days process, we've added the seven days. So now we're at the 26th from the 19th. We've now got the formatting completely different because if you check here, it started with the year, then the month, then the day. We now have the month, the day, and the year. And that is how you use add days on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.